popcorn and candy. Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode reviewing the Netflix show Squid Game. For episode two, I was really happy with it. It was one of those things where I liked how episode one started off. We had a great start with a good buildup. You got to meet our main character, Songi, and the kind of crappy person he is, the terrible father he is, the bad life he's living because of all his terrible decisions. And he gets thrown into the game, and as an audience, it helps us to just really appreciate where this show's going. However, this episode really did a lot to give us background without too much exposition, without a lot of like sitting down and talking and just blah, blah, blah. Here's my story. Here's my story. And I really appreciated it because it was something I definitely wanted to see a little more on some of the other main characters that were introduced in the first episode and that was given to us in this episode. So as the episode starts, we're brought to the immediate ramifications of the end of the first episode, which is we see just how many people have died from this game. So in total, we started off with 456 and it is down to 201 players after the first game, which definitely surprised me. It looked like a lot of people definitely got taken out in the first game, but to think that more than half lost was intense, really just surprised me. And it really just made the intensity of what these people are going through just a little more believable. Now, all these people are freaking out. Everyone's trying to figure out what's going on. And one of the rules that was presented, which I thought was interesting, is that if the majority votes to stop the games, the games will stop. And they actually take it to a vote. The people who are in charge of the games allow them to vote to see if they will continue. And unbelievably, to me at least, it is split right down the middle to where the final vote is the deciding vote. It was literally 100 to 100. And I was very surprised by it. What really threw me was the uh, number one player because they went in descending in ascending order. So whoever was f- the highest number went first down to player one, who was the older gentleman who was introduced uh, with cancer was the final vote. It really was interesting to see just how divided everybody was and especially to see just where this old man who feels he has not long to live, what his decision was. With the final vote cast, the game is ended. All of the players are sent home, but are quickly reminded of just how terrible their lives are. Our main character is still broke, still living in destitution, and finds out that his mother has diabetes and needs surgery. But of course, he does not have the money for that. Desperate, he looks for any way possible to get the money to help her and is even so desperate as to go to his ex-wife to beg for the money. Now, this is where the first bit of major character development I feel happens The husband of his ex-wife actually offers him the money that he needs, but in exchange, requests that he never tries to contact his daughter again. Disgusted, Songil, our main character, throws the money in his face and leaves. I'm hoping that he's given that chance to potentially redeem himself since he's portrayed so horribly, but we do see that at least... He wants to put some importance on his daughter. And that, to me, was a big part for him. The other characters are also reminded of how terrible their life is. Uh, One of the guys that our main character recognized and knew uh, is reminded just how bad life is. He's actually gambled away all his money, put people's lives on risk, and even has his mother's business in jeopardy. And the police are even looking for him. Some of the other characters we find out, uh, one of them, the one who saved our main character's life, uh, had been working at a factory without receiving any pay and through desperation manages to uh, attack his former boss, steal some money and sends his wife and kid to leave the country and hopefully find something better 
while he figures out a way to make things better for himself still. So when the final vote was cast, all the players were given the information that if they wanted to continue the game, that option would remain and they could come back. And as we're watching, we do see that all these characters are given a card once more in order to re-enter the game. And all the main characters that were introduced in the first episode basically take that decision, take the option to go back because their lives are so terrible that the only way they will be able to have any kind of even decent life is to risk their own in these games that are happening. The interesting aspect for me that I thought was that uh, one of the conditions that was brought to the players was that if they did decide to end the game, the money that was promised, all the players that died would receive or their families would receive the money and the players who decided to walk out would receive nothing. So I'm curious to see how that payoff is going to be if these uh, players are not going to receive less money, uh, if they're going to go back and not give any money to the players that died so it's really interesting to see just there's a little bit of ambiguity and uncertainty as to what's happening and i'm really curious to see what the next step is going to be the final piece of setup is the introduction of a police officer our main character after being released from the game immediately went to the police to tell them exactly what happened but his story of course makes no sense however one of the police officers has a family member a brother if i'm not mistaken that has gone missing and it is believed that his brother may have a connection to this when the officer checks and sees his brother's old room he does find the card that he was given to allow him to enter the game so at the end of the episode it looks as though he's following the van that is picking up the characters that are re-entering the game and I'm curious to see how this will develop. Is he going to play the games and try to figure things out? Is he just looking for an answer to his brother's situation? So a lot of good questions. I'm really enjoying this show, and I'd love to know what you guys are thinking of it as well. Uh, let me know in the comments section uh, which story definitely moved you the most or made you the most intrigued. Uh, the Indian guy definitely just hit my heartstrings because being a family man myself i understand trying to do the best for your family and that desperation you can feel when things aren't working out so let me know which character uh, you find the most intriguing what you're thinking of the show and also what you're thinking of this uh, short series going over each episode i'm gonna watch the next one in a little bit and hopefully have the next video out by tomorrow so we can keep going over this once again it's brandon with popcorn and candy don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one